Hey everybody, good evening. I'm Kaneki and uh, I come in the name of the Lord. This video is just to show you the basic symmetry um, from Genesis in the beginning. Just to give you an idea of the symmetry of how the Creator started. So that the next video that I do, which is going to be explaining the body of Christ and how it was built and then... Uh, dividing up everything according to scripture that we can all agree and I'll have all the information all written or um, I'll explain it it'll be a kind of a longer video but this is just to uh, understand that video within our entirety of our family from beginning to end which as you know we are in the end of the days you have to understand the beginning and the Creator yeah so in this as we know in Genesis it said God created the heavens and the earth okay so this right here is God okay the heavens so see this part right here this silver part this part back down here this white part in the back imagine if that's silver those two separate parts are going to be called the heavens the earth is going to be all this around just formless and shapeless and void like a void yeah okay and it said darkness was over the deep so imagine this right here this darkness it was over this part of heaven this first part and this first part of heaven is called the deep and it said the spirit of god was hovering over the waters this right here with the yellow that's the spirit of god okay and it said water so we have one water here one water here but imagine these two waters are up here yeah and uh, so we have two waters in the heavens. The heavens are heaven and the deep. The deep there is the darkness over it. God created that and then the world's there, right? Then he said, let there be light. When there was light, he saw the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness. So this, this part of heaven right here, yeah? This, it turned white. That's why it's white from this dark color or the darkness that was over the surface of the deep to this light so that's going to call light and he saw the light was good and he separated the darkness from the light so the darkness that was over the deep okay he separated that along with this the new darkness and it's called night the darkness went into the night okay he separated that from the light so heaven itself got light and the surface of the deep came off before the light was shown so that remained the same color as what is called the deep okay and then he created the sky yeah so he wanted to create an expanse to separate the waters of the heavens and mind you the spirit of god is still hovering over the waters in heaven okay so he created an expanse called the sky right here and in this expanse, he separated the waters from heaven above and heaven or and the waters below, right? So now at this point, we have water over the face of the earth, and you can kind of see its its shape now, yeah? It's shaping out because the water is is hugging it. It's still there's darkness and night now called night with the darkness um, combined into it, yeah and there's light right now there's water on it water that came from heaven and there's a, a sky that uh separates it and then there's heaven above that i mean a uh, water above that in the above heaven with the spirit of god still in the water and then the deep of heaven where god's kingdom is and this color up here represents the color called glory okay so with the expanse of the sky as you know water reflects off the sky that's where you got evening and you got morning so not only just darkness and light but you got the ambiance the ambient light coming in yeah the gradient and so with that was the creation of the first sun coming up, okay? 
reflecting off the water into the sky. Then he wanted to create land, so he got the water on the earth, he put it together, yeah, in a group, so that land could emerge. And within those three days, this is what you get, okay? You have God in his heaven, which is called the deep, which is of the light of glory, which is different from our light, okay? Below that in the section of heaven is water, where the Spirit of God had still been hovering. And then what separated that was the expanse called the sky. And then you have the light. And then you have the land. Then the waters surrounding the land, which came from heaven. And then you have the night and the darkness into the night. Yeah? So in this, understand that there is a symmetry here. Yeah? There is light up here, intense light called glory, which is different from our light. Glory is the most powerful light that you know. It is an all-consuming fire. It will consume fire itself. It consumes light itself, okay? That's where God Almighty, the, um, the Alpha, yeah? The Spirit of God was in the waters. This Spirit of God is called Christ, okay? And He was there in the beginning, the very Word, let there be light. And that was, the light that was generated was the breath of God, because he was the living word, right? But when the expanse of the sky got created, then the sun was materialized. But this water and the spirit of God hovering over the water, this is where you get, he is the living water, because this is still in heaven, above the sky. And that's where he is, right? And then you have land and sky. They balance each other out. We have water and water, one water on the earth that came from heaven, one water still in heaven, and you have night, which is going to be opposite of the Spirit of God, and the darkness, which is going to be the uh, imitator of the deep of heaven where God resides. So this right here would be known as the devil and the grand illusion, and that's how darkness came into the world. Okay, so that is the basics of creation. And then the next video is going to be explaining the structuring of the church body and all the confusion. All right, thank you. Have a good night.